dear Holy Mother, dear brothers and sisters, here is a story as it is told from generation to generation. A very beautiful tale of wisdom and enlightenment. The meeting of Lord Buddha and the highly feared robber Ongulimara. In that encounter between the forces of love and hatred, the former prevailed. Ongulimala became a disciple of Lord Buddha. A long, long time ago, a child was born and the frightening omens, all weapons in the kingdom started to glitter on the night of his birth. Astrologers predicted that the newly born child at Hinshaba would grow into a cruel rapper responsible for deaths of countless people. His parents were ready to kill him, but the king, who as a worshipper of Lord Buddha didn't allow them to do so, and recommended instead to give Ahinshaka a good education. Fifteen years later, Ahinshaka grew up to be a wise and loving boy dedicated to the study of holy scriptures. Seeing his thirst for spirituality, his parents gave him their blessings to go and study in the ashram of Takshila under the guidance of the great scholar. Since the day Yakinshaka became part of Takshila ashram, his bright intelligence, humility, and dedication to learning soon made him the master's favorite student. Gradually, other less gifted disciples started to resent Ahishaka's progress and the kind consideration that the masters always showered upon him. Becoming increasingly jealous, these other disciples succeeded in spreading false rumors about Ahishaka, who got thrown out of the ashram. The poor Ahinsuka, still wondering why his beloved guru rejected him, sadly decided to go back home. But when he reached home, his father and mother not only refused to listen to him, but they actually forbade him to even enter the house on the ground that he had displeased his guru. No one else in the village would welcome a youth that had incurred the wrath of his guru. How unfair! Completely dejected, he slowly went out of the city, hoping to find peace and a place to rest in the forest nearby. I don't understand. What was my fault? Why have I been treated so cruelly? They say, I am a sinner, but it is I who have been sinned against. It is I who have been rejected by. All while I am innocent and just eager to learn and please both my parents and my guru. They, they did not even try to listen to me. Ah, ha, ha. What do I say here? A young fool who wages alone in my forest. I am a robber and I will take your life here and now. You do not surrender whatever you have. Come on, surrender if you will lose your no. life. No, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. Enough humiliation for today. No one will take advantage of me anymore. Take this and this. Here, here I am giving you all that I have. Take this. Hmm. He has shown me the way. I will be a highway robber. I will be making a living 
while I take revenge on the society that rejected me. By a strange twist of fate, Ahimsaka became a highway robber. From that day on, it was as if Ahimsaka, the attentive student, the seeker of truth, eager to please others, had disappeared from the face of the world. With each passing day, he became more clear, taking revenge on the society that had rejected him. Turning into a ruthless killer, his dark fame soon started to spread to the entire region. He became known as Onguli Man, the one wearing a garland of Ongulis, or little fingers that he cut from his victims and wore around his neck. The once peaceful forest is now full of the smell of blood. And after some time, no one dared to venture there anymore. Until one day, the Lord Buddha himself entered the forest. They never had any respect or compassion for me when I was just a good or Himsaka. But now, <laughs> they fear me as Angulimala. And it is now my turn to know the meaning of mercy or compassion. I will keep on killing all the fools who dare to pass through my forest. The smell of their blood is sweet to me. And their little fingers, they are my decoration. But no one has come for some time now, and I'm thirsty for blood. Mm. Oh, today might be a better day. <laughs> I see someone coming. <laughs> hey, you come here. I will kill you. Oh, man! Stop! Stop moving! Uncle Himala tried to catch him. But however fast he ran, through his divine powers, the Lord was always a few steps ahead. Stop! Stop! Oh, man! Stop! I am not moving. I am a Christ. It is you who keep moving. What do you mean? My mind is at rest. But you are yet to find peace of mind, my child. My child? You have called me my child. But suddenly you cannot mean it. Don't you know who I am? I don't want your preaching. I want your little fingers. Take them, my son, if it makes you happy. I'll kill you. Along with your fingers, I will, I will take your life too. By all means, do it, my son. Do it, if it brings peace to your mind. You don't fear me? Master, oh Master, please forgive me. Get up, my child. Master, from now on, I will never kill anyone. The compassion and love of Lord Buddha did what even an army with all its might and strength could not do. With one word of the enlightened one, 
subdued Angulimala. He took refuge at the feet of Lord Buddha and overnight renounced all violence. A monk among other monks, he dedicated himself fully to his spiritual life, practicing meditation daily, nursing the sick and caring for all. However, Angulimala started to be haunted by his own crimes and spent many sleepless nights confronting ghosts of his past. Feelings of remorse and guilt overpowered him and sadness entered his heart again. Why are you so sad, my son? Master, these, these hands of mine are stained with blood. I am a sinner, without a future, without any hope. Child, repentance is the only fire capable of burning sins already committed. Ask in your heart for forgiveness. But at the same time, you should not feel guilty as the spirit, which is your true self, is not guilty. You have acted in confusion and ignorance, blinded by your anger and your miseries. It is your ego that has sinned, not your spirit. Identify with your spirit and not with your ego which is nothing but illusion. Bless me, my Lord, that I may be one with the Spirit. Your presence and your words are so soothing. I did so out of ignorance. If I speak the truth, let this woman be cured. But, but Master, how can it be? How can I, Angulimala, the worst criminal of the country? Don't think, child. Just do as I say. Oh, sir, don't refuse. Please do as the Master say and save her. Please save her. Please save her. When I kill people, I did so out of ignorance. If I speak the truth, may this woman be cured. Yes, my lord, I am. You have enlightened me. 
and now I know that I am the spirit. My whole being seems so light at the moment and I can feel the bubbly cool energy of Param Chaitanya on top of my head. My Lord, you have changed my life. You have given me enlightenment and you have guided me to the spirit. Tell me how I can help others to achieve the same life with you so that they too get to know the truth and the bliss of the spirit. My child, in spite of your life of violence and sins, you have always been a real seeker of truth. Today, after you accepted to forgive yourself, you became ready for enlightenment as your Kundalini can pass your Aikya Chakra and open the 1000 petal lotus on top of your head. Most people might not be ready. There will be a time when all seekers of truth will get their self-realization. Master, please tell me, when will this blessed time come on earth? I am neither the first nor the last Buddha to come on this earth. When the age of the next Buddha comes, then will all seekers of truth get their self-realization. But how shall people recognize the Buddha of the future? Her name, and I say her, because she is a woman, is Sri Matreya, which means the three mothers in one. Sri Adishakti herself, the supreme mother of the three channels of energy, the Trigunatmika, will come to reveal the same eternal truth. She will have the power to give instant self-realization to all seekers of truth. Master, please bless me that I see this golden age with my own eyes. May I be reborn during the time of Sri Maitreya to witness this miracle, to receive her blessing and to join in the great work of spreading the eternal truth. So be it, my child.